everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is Instructor Joy. This is one of our bow stroke series videos. Today we're going to talk about collet. Collet bow stroke is this. It's very important for us to know how to use our finger joints, all five of them, in the most flexible way because it plays an important role when it comes to mastering bow strokes and sound in general. So that's why I find it's important, crucially important for all violinists to master how to use or how to play collet bow stroke. So now, just, it's very simple. So allow your all finger joints to fall see if you can curve all five of them as much as you can then let it drop again okay like that and that's basically what it is just curve all of it including the thumb don't forget the thumb thumb is very very important and allow it to drop and since our, our bow hold is not like this but rather a little Rotate it or a little turn, you see, because our bow hand is not this but that. So you want to simulate it by rotating your hand a bit this way and then do the same thing. Yeah. Including the thumb. And that's what it is. For the first time, it can be a little hard, but good exercise for Kole would be just put the bow on the string. It's often easier when it's near the frog. And then just so that you don't move your elbow and wrist, you can hold it with the other hand. See if you can move your bow up and down using only finger joints, all five of them. Like this, hold it, the wrist, then the do up, down, up, down, up, down. Very important rule. Let's see if I can show. So goes like this. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can show. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. So that the way you practice is hold your wrist and see if you can do. It. Don't push it. Just take your time slowly. Then. Just start first, maybe curved if you want, and then just straighten again, curve. So first, all five finger joints curved, including the thumb. Yeah. Then place the bow, hold your wrist, and go. Ooh, that didn't sound good, but that's okay. Go. Okay. Try again. Okay, then you will do that multiple times. After that, then you do same, uh, the same, the opposite. So straight, and then curve. Straight, and curve. So now, straight, all five of them, and curve. Straight, and now go curve all of them. Like this. Then now hold our wrist so that we don't move that wrist unnecessarily. And then start with the straight fingers and curve. Again, straight, curve. Again, straight and go. Multiple times. Once you're done, then you do that up, back and forth. And see if you can let your wrist go and see if you can do it without holding your wrist. And once you're in that stage, then you would use that code, that kind of one, uh, but don't lift up yet. So you would use each note using the correct study four times. Yeah. Then you would reduce the amount to three, maybe next one. Then two. Then one, if you feel confident, then from there, you, when you lift, uh, when you uh, straighten your finger joint, 
then you allow the bow gets lifted a tiny bit and that's correct. Then bow on the string, then bow on the string, just at the end it gets lifted on and as you curve and gets lifted a tiny bit on and that's Colette and then you would play the whole exercise with Colette. Yeah, like that. So I hope you get to master Colette because it will give you, it will open doors for you to the limit that you wouldn't imagine. It just um, allows you to play with nicer tone, to play all these difficult bow strokes along. I hope you get to do that. Hope to see you again. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.